Hello, and God bless you and your family on this eve of Thanksgiving in the USA, Wednesday, November 27. I'm Sister Jean. In one way, the readings are a perfect preparation for tomorrow's celebration of gratitude for all the blessings in our lives. The first reading is a banquet in the book of Daniel. Remember, the Hebrews are dominated by the Babylonians at this point, and young Daniel has been honored for his goodness among both his own people and their captors under King Nebuchadnezzar. That king's son, Belshazzar, remaining pagan and worshiping many gods, holds this huge banquet with all his underlings to celebrate their great wealth and power. There's negative lesson number one for us. Tomorrow, let's celebrate God's goodness and the beauty and bounty of God's earth, and not our own glorious successes. This reading goes on to relate the ominous handwriting on the banquet wall. When the king saw the wrist and hand that wrote, his face blanched, his thoughts terrified him, his hip joints shook, and his knees knocked. Belshazzar, with hips shaking and knees knocking, summons Daniel to interpret the words on the wall. Fearlessly, Daniel spurns the king's grandiose payment offer of fine clothing and power and meets the challenge of interpreting the message on the wall, saying, By God were the wrist and hand sent and the writing set down. And in a word, O king, it's over for you. You are done. The passage ends there, but if you want to see what happens next, go to the very last verse of Daniel 5. It's not a pretty picture. Have you ever seen handwriting on the wall warning you that you'd better shape up? Probably most of us have, figuratively, and I surely hope we've fared better than Belshazzar. Today's scriptures hold two more lessons for us. One, that the sacrilege the banquet people were committing as they reveled at table using sacred vessels stolen from the Jews could be committed by us if we use sacred articles or people carelessly. And lesson number three, Look closely at the two humans in this story. One, the king, blatantly focused on his power and prestige. The other, Daniel, humbly blessing God at every opportunity. Which one do you want to be like? Dear God, help us read the messages you send us. Keep us humble enough to trust you for what to say and do in our daily walk with your Son and Spirit. So then next we hear God's answer from today's Gospel, I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. Amen. Let it be. And Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for partnering with WordNet. Now we have an easy and fun way of making your donations to WordNet. Use the number that is on the screen to text your amount and follow the on-screen instructions. Thank you very much and be blessed always.